Welcome back to my channel. Today I am reviewing another unit from HairSisters.com and what I have on here is the Model Model Human Hair Master Remix and here I have the stock card. I have it in the style AT212 in the color BO4340. Um, mainly this color is a 1B with like a light bronzy copper auburn um, intertwined with some of the curls so I'm gonna just you know go in a little bit that way y'all can see the color really pretty and I'm gonna go to this side you can probably see it a little bit more with these curls on my right side now I do want to say this hair is very full it's very bouncy as you can see but it's light it's not heavy at all so this is definitely a good wig for Easter as y'all know Easter is right around the corner it's a good work wig um for me I don't know if this would be an everyday wig just because I'm just used to long hair I'm not used to short hair but um the longer that I have this on the more I am feeling this color and this style um and the reason why I got it was because I just wanted something different, something that can look a little more natural as if I got my hair pressed and then I got like a cute little hot roller set. Um, Y'all know about hot roller sets. I don't know. Maybe I'm just showing my age. <laughs> but this is really, really pretty. I feel like the color is definitely blended in well. Now, um, on the stock card, it does not tell you like how many um, degrees is curly and iron safe. It doesn't say that on here. It does give you like inst um, instructions on how to take care of the hair and just some um, small blurb about the hair. Um, it says that it's a human hair master remix and um, it features a precise blend of 5% human hair and premium fibers to create the perfect piece. So I'm pretty sure you probably could put heat to this hair if you want to retouch up some of the curls. Also on the back of the stock, um, stock card, it does say BO means Bombre color. And that is the combination of belayage and ombre. These two techniques combined create a melting of color with natural dimension. And I must admit, they are definitely right about the dimension of the colors because you know sometimes when you get a blend of colors, you definitely know when one color begins and then when one color, you know, begins. With this one, it definitely looks like you grew your hair out and then every time when you curl it, it gives you this nice, you know, bronzy and um, 1B blend. So this is really, really, really cute. Definitely cute. Now this side, as you see, I can keep I keep messing with it. Um, this curl this keeps dropping and it's bothering me. But that could be an easy fix. Um, just with some spritz to hold it in place. Now this does come with a standard left side parent parting. Um, I'm pretty sure I don't know if you can see the part, but I did not pluck the part. I just put some foundation on it to blend in with my scalp. Um, I don't really feel like you need to um, blend the part on, not blend, um, you know, pluck the part on this unit. It does give you a nice amount of, you know, space, but if you need a little bit more, definitely, you know, customize it to your liking, but to me, it is just fine. Um, it comes with not a hard lace and not so much of a Swiss lace. It's kind of like in between um, that so to the point where you really don't need an adhesive to keep it down because the lace will not roll up however if you don't use any adhesive um, just put like a bobby pin here and a bobby pin here just to secure it a little bit more now it does come with three combs um, there's one right here on my left side and then there's another comb right here um, farthest to the right side closer to my right ear and one in the back with two adjustable straps now um I would have to say this is like a medium to small um, kind of construction cap so if you have a big head um, I'm not sure this will be for you but you know I have a big forehead but a small head if that makes sense <laughs> so it just depends on the style and how um, how it fits me but um, this is a bit you know snug and I do not have it um, closest to the back cap so that's why I was like eh, I don't know if you have a big head if if it's gonna really you know give you the comfort that you need but still you know 
we all know how to work with a wig to get it to or liking so so with that i also want to give you like a 360 as you can see this curl keeps bothering me that's one of the things that is bothering me about this unit it's just like this curl right here but like i said it's an easy fix um also one thing that I feel like is going to happen with this wig is that it's going to frizz up because there was like a bunch of like flyaways. So just use some, probably use some mousse or, you know, something to maintain it. So here we go. Here's the front. Here's the left side. My left, probably your right. Here's the back. As you can see, it's very bouncy and full and here's the right side 